I've got really good news for you guys looking for a reliable solution to use your Android phone or device as a webcam. Camo by Reincubate, which is arguably the number one solution for using your iPhone or iPad as a webcam for your MacBook, has just made their Android beta publicly available, which means one, everyone can go out and try it out now. And number two, they are finally getting close to releasing the final public version for this awesome application. And today we're gonna try it out and see just how amazing this thing is. Full disclosure, I have not extensively used Camo before because one, I don't have an iPhone and two, I wasn't able to sign up for the Android beta early on. But I've read a lot of good things about Camo and Reincubate since early this year. So I signed up for the Android beta and now here we are. In this video, we're going to try out Camo beta for Android and use it with Camo Studio for Mac, which is not beta for what it's worth. As for the test devices, I have a Samsung A50 here and a MacBook Pro M1. As always, I'll put helpful links and stuff in the description, so make sure to check it out. So let's start by downloading Camo on the Android device. So let's go to Play Store, search Camo, then tap on Camo by Reincubate. A little note, right now it has early access on its name because it's in beta, but if you're watching this in the future, that might not be the case anymore. So yeah, just a little note, uh, go ahead and install it. I already have mine installed, so let's proceed to the next step. Up next, let's download Camo Studio for Mac. So first go to reincubate.com slash camo. The download button should be here up top, but you can also scroll down to the bottom of the page to see more download options. For Mac OS, tapping in the download button will immediately download the installer. For Windows, since it's still in beta, you will have to enter your email address to get the download link. Installation is a standard double tap on the installer to run it. The installer will guide you all throughout what to do, what system permissions are needed by the app and why it needs it, a little tour, etc. Overall, very thoughtful design here. All right, so next step is to connect the Android device to your computer. Connect the phone to the computer using a cable, open the Camo app on the phone, then open Camo Studio on the computer. Camo Studio should immediately get the video feed from your phone. On Windows, you will have to enable USB debugging on your Android phone. This is probably because Camo Studio for Windows is still in beta. Also for Mac, it says they do not recommend using a hub, but I don't really have a choice, so I'll be using an Anchor 8-in-1 hub. The Camo Studio app on your computer is where you can control and modify Camo settings. On the left side, you can select which cameras you want to use, be it front or rear cameras, the lenses, be it wide or the normal ones, the resolution, be it 720p or 1080p, 4K is, I think, still coming soon, and also you can include the audio. I think for now, you can only do this for iPhones and iPads, and at the top, you can select the fitting option for the view here in Camo Studio, so you can set it to fit your screen or zoom in or whatever, and you can also pause the video stream. On the right panel is where you can really customize the video settings, so for the free version, you can only change the white balance, but in my experience, this is already more than enough. I think the camera on any mid-range and above smartphone is way better than any webcam. If you really want the full customization, then there's a pro version, but that is paid. Okay, so now we've got it working and configured the way we want it to. It's now time to actually use it in a meeting. Note that Camo for Android and Windows is still in beta, so do not expect it to be like 100% perfect. Camo is designed to code just work, so they worked with a lot of teams and companies to make this easy to integrate and make this easy to use. So here's a quick view of the many apps that work with Camo. Um, I didn't expect it to be this many, but wow. So first test, let's try Zoom for Mac. Using Camo is actually as simple as using a webcam on your video conferencing app. In this case, Zoom, just go to the video setting and change the camera or video input to reincubate Camo. As you can see, Zoom is now using the video feed from my phone's rear camera. So I look much clearer compared to the built-in camera on my M1 Mac. Let me switch back to it so you can see the difference. Also put it side by side so you can see it clearly. As for the best way to hold your phone in place as a web camera, I've got recommendations, but let's discuss that later. For now, let's continue the tests. For web-based apps, you can use Chrome, Firefox, Edge, and Brave browsers. Unfortunately, Safari isn't supported yet. To test with a web-based app, let's try Google Meet using Brave browser for Mac. So it's the same similar process for selecting the input video. Then as you can see, Google Meet is now using the video feed from my phone. Again, a comparison of the built-in camera on the M1 MacBook versus the rear camera on the A50 using Camo. Okay, so now about 
phone holders or mounts. Scarlett from Reincubate actually has an extensive blog post about the many ways of mounting your phone as a webcam and the best way she found out, which I also agree, is by using this flexible phone arm thingamabob. It has a clamp for mounting it to a surface like for example the edge of your table or the trunk of your monitor stand or whatever stable surface that may be. Then on the other side is a clamp to hold your phone. Then you can just twist it and bend it to whatever position you want. I'll put links to these products on the description, so make sure to check it out. So yeah, if you're using Android and or Windows, go ahead and give the beta versions a shot. Just make sure to check out the known issues list so you know what to expect. And if you encounter an issue that is not known yet, then report it to them so they can address it as soon as possible. If you're using an iPhone, iPad, or Mac combo, then what are you waiting for? And that's it for this video. I hope this was helpful. If it was, hit that thumbs up so others can easily find this nugget of information and consider subscribing. As always, thanks so much for watching and I'll see you in the next one.